the greatest disappointment of all time. H3H, H3, Assassin's Creed Mirage. But can it be beaten with just a torch? Can I kill the five titans of Baghdad with just the torch? With not being able to use any other weapon or tool? Can I beat this Yuli Cash Crab? Let's find out. Basim Ibn Lasak, the protagonist in Assassin's Creed Mirage, a game that's a return to the roots of the AC franchise. Bruh. When Basim isn't trying to get the most defined cheekbones in all of Baghdad, mm. he's trying to get a decent, decent life. life. Learning the art of deception, pickpocket, parkour, and being friends with all the children in the village. 100% A tutorial. Your, your money, money or your, your life. life. Both an inescapable scenario. With such levels raising and potential alarms raised, I brought him to justice, stole my loot, child's play. I want a decent life. Hmm. I, I can, can do, do more. more. With men stationed everywhere telling me to get out now, and no use of a torch except for these hands, I use the bushes or doing what I do in real life, hiding in the closet. But let me ask you something. If they were children showering, would you join them? If it was a chest, would you use a common phrase that thrives in the black community to open it? Open. Snatch. Run. And if you got caught in someone else's eyes, would you run? Going back home, waking up from night terrors and discovering dead coloured kids all lined up like it's an auction. I'm sad. Furious. My cute little baby boy Jimmy. You were the sexiest. But let me tell you something, I want a decent life. Deciding to train with the assassins, standing here with nipples saluting my master, I acquire my sword, dagger, and combat training. Having access to no torch, obviously, I unfortunately get forced to use my sword. And finally obtaining the sacred torch, me and my best friend, Nu, go for a midnight stroll until God, God, yes! Throwing my first torch, I realize a horrible discovery. Not only do I get caught, but no longer can I use a torch whilst I'm in combat. Like a flaccid penis before sex, I was useless. But my friend Nu has got that main character syndrome. Whilst Nu's throwing those hands, I'll get chased and keep him occupied until Nu wants to throw some more hands. Training once more, getting my shit beat, becoming a Shaolin monk, I was ready for my biggest test, removing my own foreskin. Combat training. Being forced to use my sword once more, Nu came running in, blood leaking from his anus being penetrated by the guards. Guards! I was a little jealous actually. Nu's anus needed to be avenged. Returning back to Baghdad, home, the shit stain on the underwear of life, I have been sent to the Harbayar district to find Ali. Throwing my second torch, I learned my second horrible discovery. They will run towards you whilst on fire, raising your sussy backer levels, stopping you from using your torch. So anyway, I discovered the first NPC weakness, high ground. Perching well above my enemies, I could fling torches at them whilst they scream help, and they wouldn't even be able to look up. You stupid. Getting closer to Ali, I discover Beshi, a self-described and a sight that makes me pitch a tent. Black men on their knees with early signs of onset riz. <clears throat> I also discovered the second NPC weakness. Water. Water. I would escape to the ocean after running in to free the men and float around waiting for my sus levels to go down. Since these guards just stand there whilst I float, thinking about my sexuality. So I decide to ask a bureau member if he's ever been inside his own father. Oh no, I have never been inside. My father. I know this pain. <laughs> But Ali was in a gay man's fantasy and a black man's reality. Prison. So come yeah. on, let's, let's go. go. Realizing it's mainly stealth, yuck. I decided to speedrun through this whole thing, discovering Ali in a room full of BDSM gear, sweat on the floor, and the occasional blood splatter with a strapping six foot four beefcake. Mm. So like a penis in a wet bussy, I would slide in and out of this crack whilst whipping him at the back and to add insult to injury, getting him stem off. Me and Ali became friends. Hmm. Possibly more. Until Beshi broke in, blood gushing out of his rectum. F in the chat. I knew my first Titan of Baghdad was to cause for all of this. Al Ghul. Diving into the water below and entering the community, I discovered Al Ghul locked away in his home. What a cock teasing bastard. In order for Al Ghul to leave, it's the same thing that motivates me to leave the bed in the morning. Arab men with nipples exposed in high resolution. But for me to get graced with the sight of the male anatomy, I need to deliver this man's spices. Using in Kidu, high ground near the spices has been stripped away from me. Me. I have nothing, nothing left except, except the closet. Fire. Hiding in this closet more than I do in real life, I would only emerge to throw torches. And having delivered the spices, the Arab men with part of their nipples exposed spawned into view. And moving into position, my eagle summoning showed me that the high ground above Al Ghul was a viable option. Al Ghul was far too busy jerking his little gherkin to even realize the L he's about to face. Speaking of L's, assassin focus came on to me like a rogue fart. Not being able to escape oh, it, on, I accepted my fate. To atone my actions, I will not upgrade any of my skills. 
skills, keeping me from reaching my maximum potential. The only skills that can really help me anyway is the predator skill tree for maintaining max stealth, which would help me in this mission where I stumble upon a dead guy in his gaming chain. After performing countless pickpocketing and the occasional sentence I'm far too familiar with, Don't kill me. I met my greatest weakness, a hair girl face compilation. Wooden panels. The wooden panels were like my cupcake, death grip, and a failed engine streak. A torch does zero damage to a wooden panel, despite spontaneous combustion on NPCs, so I broke my rules for the fifth time, until I got caught in a trap, an ambush, ambush. receiving more puncture wounds than Demi Lovato's arm, getting my shit rocked, and forced into mandatory combat where torches aren't allowed. I was a nothing, no, no, no talent. talent, but I can escape like a bit of pre-cum, using the lifts to hide up here until I have access to the torch once more, then rain down hell upon them. And it's the exact same thing for the coal mine mission to look for something I lack in real life, a friend. I can just hide up on this crane and smite down my opponents. Except this guy. Fuck this guy. I need to find and ask Dr. Hassan some questions. And when I say some questions, I mean shoving a torch's metaphorical balls in his face. Hassan is located in this building fondling a corpse, guarded by a group of guys kissing one another. And I wasn't even invited. Ignoring all the guards and jumping through an open window, the guards will stand there momentarily, then look for another way around. And by the time they do, Dr. Hassan will be gargling my torch. Exactly like my second titan of Baghdad, Al Rabbi I've got my cock in my hand right now. Like the sexual tension between Shane and Dale in The Walking Dead Season 2, this was going to be extreme. So first, I need to steal the keys from the gardener, I'd cause a 2319 by getting caught, then hang on the edge of a building so they can try and find me, and by the time they even do, the keys have already dematerialized. Next is the basement, which resides a confusing tunnel system full of men who want to step outside, chase you, and give you an English experience. So I needed to get rid of these men before entering the room with the target. And there's two ways to get rid of men, false rape allegations and traps. The cracks in the wall in AC Mirage act like a men in black neuralizer. The guards will walk away and give up the moment you slide on in. But there are also two ways to kill the target. You are about to mew, aren't you? Bible. Getting inducted into Mogwarts, learning how to mew, is just one way to kill the target. But there's no torch being used, even though it's just a button prompt. I'm not doing it. I, I love the pain. To kill the target with the torch is to sneak into the room, choosing the left side since anywhere else the guards have got that side I stay, which can raise my sussy levels. And the guard on the left side has got that bent over but ready for battle shots pose facing the way from me. I can climb the wooden beams and use photo mode for a reference point as to where my torch is going to land. Now I can quickly caress his pink puffy nipples and tell him everything is going to be okay. But a war is brewing in the cock district. Huh? Meeting my Asian friend, helping him collect tea. Huh? With motivation ringing in my ear, I was able to collect his tea partly because the guard's neck muscles are fused together. Seriously, you can't look up? You disgrace! <laughs> Ali and Beshi, we're ready for some war. Slap! <laughs> me? I'm ready for some kissing. I will kiss them all. Ooh, but him, you devil. Kidding. I wish. It's filler missions. Yeet. You need flowers for your husband's burial. I will gather these flowers. Getting sent to an internment camp and waking up in Kadoo. I just knew things were sexy. Men trapped in cages. Men on their knees looking all sexy and shit. Like before with Beshi and the water. Oh, water. I can free these men stealthily or with a sword right up the poop chute. It just doesn't matter because I can float around in the water nearby and these guards can't do diddly squat. The calm before the storm. Some cheer, some wonder and some of you will die. We what? fight. Running into battle, chanting family with my brothers, the war had begun. Some men got that slip on a banana peel type death animation. Yeah, yeah. But me, I hid in the background. Nice job, team. Yeah. Ali spoke of two snacks to kill before I got to the main course. My first snack was General Jasso. Walking into the room, I learned the humbling tale of fuck around and find out. Casting my first torch, I was locked into combat, meaning I'm a useless sack of shit. Combat equals no torch, remember? And I just couldn't find anywhere to hide. Give me your hands, Nick. Why? Why? In all honesty, I was scared, worried, and my anus was starting to twitch like a flashlight in the car exhaust. So I ran to this little room and into the corner. The cut corner. Until I realized something, that breaking the line of sight long enough gets you out of combat, which in turn gives me my torch. I am now the alpha. Is what the, the fuck? Is oh, oh, oh shit! Oh, ah, 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 my second snack was Admiral Nadir. Approaching the island, guards tell me to get, get out, out, as usual. No! I could set fire to this ship with a torch. <laughs> Using photo mode for a reference point, I was able to drop some trick shots on Nadir. Wasif was next, but a black man has been kidnapped. Beshi, my sweet black. Nigga. This requires us to lock in. 
In that fortified barracks sits Beshi. Hands tied behind back in any other occasion, I'd be edge into this. Guards stationed everywhere, neck snapping to avoid cheeky butt grabs. This was going to be a tough one. Stealth was mandatory, but this was the easiest stealth I've ever been in. I mean, really? Really, sucker? However, Beshi got penetrated. <laughs> I always thought it was me who would penetrate him. Ali was getting railed from all angles. Front, side, back, mouth, ass, look, basically everywhere. I needed to steal a key to free the reinforcements. Wow, how many people were in there? Whilst Ali and his infinite reinforcements, my god, were fighting Captain America's Civil War 2016 full airport battle scene? I had a plan of my own. And I will find a way into his room while he is alone. Yeah, Betty, will you dirty slag? See you, chump. But let me tell you something. By exploiting the high ground and a wall, Wasik was unable to see me. But let me ask you something. If guards flooded in, would you get erect? Fortunately, Ali is on that Aaron Yeager revenge arc. He will literally give them all a slap and down. Whilst I can hide in the cut corner. Slap, slap, slap. When life gives us lemons, or in my case, a dead black man with a great ass, it was time to move on. My Asian friend was a great motivator, bringing me to an overcrowded market which would cripple my social anxiety, encountering an Asian lady on her knees emitting Shrek Riz. Sucky, sucky. I can either spend a ridiculous amount of time throwing torches, or give him a piece of stone. I then encountered a Muslim needing help. Usually, I declined such an offer. But this one was quietly traveling down a lonesome road, when all of a sudden, four black guys spawned in and gang raped it. And they didn't invite me. I was next, getting chased in 4K and beaten with a bare hand. Since I'm in this desert, there is nowhere to hide and they will continue to chase me. Why? Why? I didn't want to end up like that Muslim. Laying down in 4K, ass pounding with a potential STD. Running out far enough gets them to stop, staring at me in the distance with an absolute certified hood classic plane in the background. After my fairy dust has disappeared, I can quickly equip torch, run back in, and nut. <laughs> and repeat the process. There are two targets to kill, Harbour Master and Tax Collector, but they take one shot from a distance, irrelevant, which revealed my fourth titan of Baghdad, Ling. Raise your hand if you're gay. Bruh. Walking into her throne room, thinking whether I should cry, panic, Psych! Ning just sits there, begging me to take the dub. One torch is all it takes. However, I do need a confirmed kill. But there's too many guards. Guards! You can hide up on this cage then, until this whole thing blows over. Waking up to night terrors once more, I am so angry I speak without opening my mouth. I stay my blade from the flesh wow. of the innocent. Triple A game, everyone. No. I'm in the Abisaya nah. district to find clues leading me to my last titan of Baghdad, Kabiha. No. After doing stealth where it's the same shit over, I found some letters leading me to a place where my drip is too big to enter. According to legend, a man with an adult baby diaper fetish was sat upon a roof with some new drip. Gat. Gut. Have you ever seen a mini gat? Gut. Have you ever been trapped in a house with the women and children being forced to complete quests? Gut. Whilst in this house, access to any weapons, tools, torches are gone. I do have these hands, yeah. but I can't use yeah. them, so stealth is compulsory. Fuck's sake. Most of these quests are basic, like pickpocketing, watching children play, so not too hard. After leaving this house because of a dead woman, who cares? But the children, on the other hand, I need to search a courthouse, which means the very thing that I hate, stealth. Fortunately, I can ignore stealth again, like I ignore my confusing sexuality, but I encounter BDSM gear, shackles, blood-stained stools, and men in cages. <clears throat> Ignoring stealth has allowed many guards to be up my ass, so I opened the cages, then we fight. Friends were getting slapped, friends were getting treated like a ping-pong ball. I hid with the feelings of anxiety and depression. Whilst they all got slapped, reporting back to my master, asking permission to kill Kabir, like, what, what, what am I, Caesar or something? Fucking bitch. Sneaking into the palace, <clears throat> I mean running into the palace, I found a monk sitting down in a prime sucking position with locking eyes, <clears throat> taking me to a room, <clears throat> but eventually leading me to do a puzzle task. Little fucking slime. I chased my target to a dimly lit room. She was about to get penetrated by a tiny prick, a dream of mine, until my mentor took my kill, then friend me with a kiss. Oh! Racing back home to kill my master, getting planted in the face and having night terrors once again, I awaken to Nur's literally bloody anus. He's been assaulted more times than an 11 year old at Epstein's Island. I must avenge his anus. 304 meters away, my brother's anuses are also about to be ravaged and thrown around and kissed and glazed and all that sexy shit. But reaching my brother's was going to be extreme. Getting chased in 4K and ignoring the stealth to reach my brother's is not an option. If you do get caught however, trying to get rid of the guards is near enough impossible.
impossible. Hiding on top of waterfalls? No. no. Hanging off buildings? No. But there is an area next to your brothers where you can run out far enough, making the guards stop, which can lower my sussy levels. Sneaking back in, hiding in the bushes with four guards to kill, I can knock them out clean with my torch. <laughs> Having saved my brother's anuses, the cave was next, which lays guards who want to spread your butt cheeks, throw shit at you, and literally stab you in the ass. You see this shit? It's right in my ass. Truthfully, I'm scared. All I have is one tiny bush to hide in, and a bruised rectum. Hiding in this tiny bush, I can land some sweet sniper shots, unless they get curious and make their way over to me. Curiously, then finding me. You got, got me. me. But if I manage to snipe out these two guards, this whole top level is now my domain, which I can move around and snipe them all. With my spider sense tingling, Roshan was here to claim her kiss. With access to no torch, I'm so ready to fight club this shit. I tried running away, hiding behind a rock, staring at a distance. Nothing. I still have no use of a torch. And no bitches. She wouldn't even leave this area, so I'm forced to fight. So that's it. Six times where I couldn't use my torch. I have depression. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Kill yourself! Bye, have a beautiful time!